Okay, here's a process costing simulation using FIFO. Okay, we did weighted average. Now let's do FIFO. FIFO is a little more sophisticated. Hyatt Industries. Hyatt Industries uses a process costing system to manufacture ball bearings. And the following information pertains to operations for the month of June. We got beginning work in process, 10,000 units. Units started during June, 90,000 units. Completed during June, 80,000 units. And ending work in process, 20,000 units. So these are the same numbers that we had in our weighted average simulation, where we started with 10,000 in beginning inventory. Then we started another 90,000 units in the month of June, completed and transferred out 80,000 and had 20,000 left. But when we get equivalent units under FIFO, we do it very differently than we did it under weighted average. Instead of starting with what was completed and transferred out, the 80,000 units, we're not going to start there. Instead, FIFO by name is first in, first out. So to get the equivalent units, we have to deal with the beginning inventory of those 10,000 units, which we totally ignored under weighted average, and that's okay for weighted average, but FIFO, we got to play with those 10,000 units and, and see how we're going to do it. So they tell us here that beginning inventory was 60% complete for materials already when it came to us. So that means we had to do 40% of the work because they want us, number one, to calculate the equivalent units of materials using FIFO. So using FIFO, the equivalent units of materials, we start with the 10,000 units and we multiply by the 40% that we had to do. So that's 4,000 units right there. And then we can take the units completed and transferred out, which are 80,000. But if we do that, we're double counting the 10,000 beginning inventory units. So we got to take that out because we only include 4,000 of that, not 10. So take away the 10, add the 4, and then the ending inventory. They tell us 20,000 units are what percent complete for materials? 80%, okay? So that's another 16,000 units to add. And that gives you 90,000 equivalent units for materials. And then we'll go on to number two, but they're going to give us some new facts. They're going to tell us that the beginning inventory cost of materials, 56,000. Current cost of materials, 400,000 using FIFO, what's the cost of materials for our, for our equivalent cost per unit calculation? Well, you know, for FIFO, do we use all the costs like we did for weighted average, beginning inventory, and the current cost? No. FIFO uses current costs only. So that means just the 400,000 current costs is your numerator, and your denominator is that 90,000 units. So... Our cost per unit in number three is going to be the 400,000 divided by 90,000 units, or $4.44 is going to be our cost per equivalent unit of materials for June. And we'll do conversion costs also, but right now, cost per equivalent unit, 444 for materials. Now we get some conversion cost information, number four. Calculate the equivalent units of production for conversion costs in June using FIFO. Well, what we got to do now is say that the beginning inventory was 10,000 units. What percent complete were they as to conversion cost? It says they were only 20% complete for conversion cost. Beginning inventory was only 20% complete for conversion cost. So that means we needed to do 80% of the work on those conversion costs. So that's why in number four you take the 10,000 units and multiply by 80 percent and that's how you'll deal with the beginning inventory conversion costs under FIFO. See under weighted average we wouldn't have to do that we just start with whatever was completed and transferred out but under FIFO you got to deal with those beginning inventory units multiply by what percent you had to do to complete them. So 10,000 units and 80% of the work we had to do, that means beginning inventory, 8,000 units, 
and then although the units completed and transferred were 80,000, that already includes 10,000 of beginning inventory units, but we only want 8,000 of those beginning inventory units. So take away the 10, add the 8 from the 80,000. And then what about the ending inventory? They tell us that there's 20,000 units in ending inventory that was 30% complete as to conversion costs. Ending inventory was 30% complete as to conversion. So that means 6,000 more units. So for conversion costs, we start with 10,000 beginning inventory units, 80% to complete them. That's 8,000 units. Units completed and transferred out would have been 80,000, but we want 8,000 of the beginning inventory units, not all 10. And all 10 are in the 80,000 units completed and transferred. So subtract 10, add the 8, and then add 6,000 more, the ending inventory units. 20,000 units, 30% complete. That's 6,000 more units. So our equivalent units of production for conversion costs are 84,000 units. And now, what about the costs? Well, FIFO said, we know it's only current costs only. So although they're going to give us some facts on number five here, in addition to the above, beginning inventory costs for June are direct labor, 20000 overhead of 15 We're not going to need that because FIFO uses current costs only in the numerator in your cost per equivalent unit calculation. So costs incurred for June are direct labor of 180000 and factory overhead of 380,000. So your current costs is what we need, the 560,000. That's your current cost of conversion. Take that 560,000 and divide it by the number of equivalent units, 84,000 of conversion. And you're going to wind up with a cost per unit of conversion, $6.67. So what was your cost per unit of materials? $4.44, your cost per equivalent unit of conversion, $6.67. Now, number seven, we want the total cost of units in our ending work and process inventory. Well, there's 20,000 units in our ending work and process inventory. What's the total cost of them? We can take the 20,000 units. They're 80% complete, and that gives you 16,000 units. At a material cost per unit of 444, that's 71,040. Then your conversion cost, those 20,000 units were only 30% complete. That's only 6,000 units. And they had a cost per unit conversion of 6.67, and that's 40,020. Add them up, and your total ending inventory for both materials and conversion costs, 111,060. And as they start to introduce simulations for BEC, I would expect the simulations to be short like this. When they start to get a little more familiar with these BEC simulations, they'll be a little longer. But I'm expecting them to be short, and this would be the kind of simulation. Maybe you'll see where you'll have to do one for FIFO and then weighted average, maybe back to back. But this is the kind of thing you got to know how to do, whether it's in simulation or in multiple choice got to know your process costing. So make sure if you didn't do the weighted average one already, do that one and make sure you know the difference between that one and this one.